Hello and welcome to today's episode of TSARP. I'm your host, Andrew Weir, and today our special guests are Lewis and Sean. Whoa! That's, that's, that's pretty cool. So today, as you probably saw in the title, we're going to be giving three tips to join the Kidoyo hackathons, or really any hackathon. Um, and if you're not interested in hackathons, these are going to be great tips for just getting better at coding and kind of learning new things. So I would definitely stick around and listen to the whole thing. So the first one really is hone your craft. And this is said all the time, and it's a great tip. Uh, Mr. Ferrara, our teacher and hackathon coach, says it all the time. But it's, it's a great tip because you can be pretty good at something, but pretty good isn't going to win hackathons. You have to be very good at what you do. And, and it, this kind of brings us into our second tip. But be very good, but also you want to be very fast, right? So not fast enough <clears throat> to where you're going to lose quality in your programs or your art. Um, you want to be, you want to get that perfect even amount where you're very good, but you're also very fast because it's speed. Because you only have three hours in the Kadoyo hackathons. And in a lot of other hackathons, you have anywhere from like an hour to like, a day, half a day, you know. So you really need to be fast. And for those half a day hackathons, you're like, oh, that's so much easier than an hour. Not really, because in in five hours, they expect you to do a lot more than you're going to do in an hour. So you definitely want to, like, be able to get a certain amount of code and a good enough program out dependent on the length. So say, it's just like a math formula. If I am given one hour, I can do this amount. If I am giving two hours, I want to do this amount. And you really got to just <clears throat> like figure out how much you can do in the given time and kind of like memorize that. Be like, okay, I need to do this, this, and this. I know that this will take me that amount of time. So you can evenly distribute what you're doing amongst the time and know where to kind of focus. And... I would also leave some leeway in there, right? So if you can say, okay, I can get this all done in an hour, and I know that for sure, but what if you run into a bug or you messed up something? You need some, like, 5 to 10 to 15 minute leeway just to fix any small problems and polish it up. So that's yeah. kind of our first big tip. Make sure you're good and make sure you're fast. Yeah, manage your time well. As in, like, the mini hackathon I was part of, like, we did have one project we spent quite a lot of time on and actually, like, never got. Mm. So, like, managing your time wisely. Don't spill it all into one thing. Yeah. No, Sean is very right there. Um, I know in a bunch of hackathons I've done, and I've seen it in pretty much all the ones I've done, is some people will be like, okay, this is going to be the program. This is going to be the best. But they just aren't either, like, fast enough to get it done or put too much work into it. Um, or, put, like, try harder than they really should, I guess. Um, so this kind of, this is our second tip, is don't overcomplicate things, right? You want to make that code very simple, and you also want to make the whole program simple. So say I give you a program and I say, okay, take five items and assort them into a to-do list. And um, when you do that, don't be like, okay, I want to make sure it looks all very nice. And don't get the styling done first. Get the real code done first. Because you can submit the code without any styling, and it will be done. But if you just get the styling done and not the actual program, that's going to hurt you a lot more than getting the program done and not the styling. So make sure that you're doing what you should be doing and not overcomplicating it make sure you boil it down to its simplest form that's that, that's great in skill dashes and hackathons and a lot of different types of coding events too so that goes for a lot of things and even when you're not in a hackathon this is just good for any type of coding um because when you're making a project, like I said, don't start on the design. You want to start on the real functionality because the design's one of the easiest parts. Now, definitely not the easiest, but one of the easiest. And it's great for when you're tired and you don't feel like coding. So you definitely want to get the hard stuff out of the way. So that... Oh, did you have something to say? 
Uh, no, I was just like adding on because I felt like it was an awkward sign. Yeah. Um, so, <laughs> yeah. No, so, yeah. So, the third tip is also another very important one. All of these are very important. And um, definitely good for not just hackathons, but for everything. Um, but our third main tip is you want to focus on something you're good at, right? So I see this a lot in all different um, hackathons I've done. But, like, some people that are really just an artist will go and they'll be like, hey, I, I know a little bit of Python. Let me just, I'll do that. It's simple. I can do it. But they don't really realize their skill level. And then they kind of just don't get it done. But it, what makes it even worse is if someone is like, no, 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 I got this. I got this kind of being like, no, you know, I'm not completely sure, but I can do it. Make sure as soon as you realize that you can't do something, pass it on to someone that can, because you don't want to be wasting time on something that you know is not going to get done. Make sure people are doing it that are right for the task. And there might be another thing sitting there that's great for you, but you're wasting your time on something that's not. So make sure you fit the right people with the right projects. Yeah. Like, I would say I most master two. Like, I, like, basically master Sprite Editor and, like, Hatch and, like, don't really know anything about Python. Yeah, that's very true. Like, um, make sure, like, master, like, knowing multiple things is great. I'm not gonna lie. But knowing, like, knowing one thing and saying you know multiple and lying is not bad, just bad because you're lying and you're leading on your teammates and leading on your coaches. But it's bad when you go to try to do it and you don't know how. Um, so make sure you are truthful uh, when you say what you know how, what to do. So you don't hurt your teammates and hurt the rest of your team. Um, but yeah, these are all great tips just for really for anything, not just for hackathons. Um, but definitely helpful when trying to get on the hackathon team or, dur or during a hackathon. Um, and really are great for everything. So um, I hope these tips really help you. And Lewis and Sean, do you think there's any extra bonus tips you want to give, or do you think all those are pretty good? Well, yeah, yeah, I definitely want to yeah. mention. Like, you gotta like be like, other than just coding, you have to be like a good social person, like with your teammates. Mm. Be able to communicate with them well. You have to have good be an overall good person. Yeah, that's very true. Being able to communicate with your team and being a good teammate let is let the trust get the best of you. Yeah, like, I, I know, again, Mr. Ferrara says this all the time. Be a good teammate, you know? If your teammate's not doing well or they're asking for help, don't just push them aside. Don't say, no, sorry, I'm busy. You know, maybe take that, like, 5, 10 seconds, 15 seconds to be like, oh, this could help you. You know, it's not going to take that long. And even if you take 10 seconds and you're like, sorry, I have a really important thing I got to get done for the team, then that's okay, but make sure you advise the situation and definitely, like, ha try to help them, right? Because you're not really just helping them. If you can help them, it's going to help the whole team and you. So you definitely want to help your teammates out and be a good teammate and be a good social teammate. Um, and, Lewis, were you going to give a tip? Uh, yeah. If you want to get on the team, you need to stand out. As we said, you need to stick with what you're good at. Don't lie about anything you do. But if you really want to get on the hackathon team, this is specifically for getting your hackathons, you need to compete with other people for an eight-person team. And at times, there could be like 20 people trying to get on that team. So you want to have skills that other people don't have. For example, with me, while I specialize in Hatch, I also can do some Python, Python processing, stuff along the lines of that. Yet, other hatchers, specifically 7th graders, I'm an 8th grader, are not capable of doing that. So, that makes me stand out and have a higher chance of getting on the team. And that's a great tip, because, like, say, like, say you're good at Python, right? Maybe you're good at Python, say, another, you're the only one that knows about a certain library or something. Maybe learn that library, and that could your, be your specific skill... But you're really good at Python, too. So it's like one big skill and one mini skill. 
Um, so little stuff like that is really good for getting on the team because it makes you stand out, like Lewis said, and makes you like ahead of everyone else. Um, but kind of against what Lewis said, but still Lewis, what Lewis said was very important, is you don't want to not help your competitors, right? Because you could have a competitor and you both make the team. And then they're not going to really like you as much once you get on the team. And they might not help you in a very important situation. But also, if you're with someone else and they ask you for help and you push them aside and you say no, then the coaches or whoever's deciding if you get on the team might be a little hesitant knowing that you don't really help your teammates and you're not good with other people. So you definitely want to even be good with your teammates during the training and during the tryouts, not just during the hackathon itself. So, yeah, but, I don't have some beef with like some of our coders. Like, I'm not gonna say who it is because that lower. Like, yeah. it's not like beef. Like, just like things there and there. Yeah, no, I mean a lot of, and this happens a lot in coding club. Is you know we mess around with each other, and you know we have like the you know we um push each other around and make fun of each other you know in a good way we're not really yeah. we're we don't try to be mean we don't try to you know we try to be nice but um yeah you know we're it's all in good fun but and they everyone knows that yeah, so yeah i truly like kind of have beef with yeah but again don't be mean be kind and be a good teammate is really what you should be taking away from this so thank you all for listening and we will see you in the next one bye bye yeah. Bye.